Guys, we're here in Austin and we're here to eat at this new Fortune dim sum place. So New Fortune used to be located in a different place. They closed down during COVID, but now they reopened. So let's check, check out the New Fortune number two. This location is a little bit closer to like the H Mart area. It's a little bit different location. I think the actual restaurant size is a slightly smaller and the line forms like 30 minutes before the restaurant opens. It's crazy. We think the entire Asian community in Austin is here, but we're here on Sunday, of course. You know, it's busy on Sunday. Okay, let's go. Yeah. 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 Barbecue short ribs. Okay. Okay, can we get the uh, chasu bao? Chasu bao. <laughs> All right, let's try the soup dumpling. Let's see if there's actually soup. The wrapper is a little bit of hard, but the soup is really good. There's actually soup in the dumpling. You can see there's quite a bit of soup in there. Wrapper is a little bit hard. Wrapper is like a five out of 10, but the stuffing in the soup is like 10 out of 10. Really good. Super juicy, a lot of soup. Let's try the hakao shui jing zhen jiao hakao. Huge meatball of shrimp. What is this again? The taro thing? Taro root. Taro root. It's actually salty. I thought it's gonna be sweet, but it's salty and fluffy and crispy. It's a lot of texture. They said the shumai here is really good. Is it pork and shrimp? Yeah, pork. pork and shrimp or just pork? Uh, pork and pork. Pork and shrimp shumai. Let's try it. Salamba was good. It has roast soup in there. Mm. A lot of meat in there, which is really good. Thank you. So here's the chashu bao. They give you a lot of bread, not a lot of the stuffing though. It's a lot of bread, don't you think? Let's try it. It feels like it's really fluffy. Let's try it. The chashu bao was okay. The bread is really okay. The chashu part is like super, super sweet. I would say the sauce is a little bit on the sweeter side. I prefer sauce that are not as sweet, but the bread is super good. 
So I would give this one maybe eight out of ten. It's not bad, but the ones in New York definitely way better. The chang fan, yeah. How many? Uh, big, big, big. I just bet the number. You want? You want? Yeah. Yeah. We take it. Yeah. How many are we taking? Chang fan. I think one time they should listen to the line I'll be right back to you, bring you their uh, ice water. Thank you. Big Champ Fun. Thank you. This is Champ Fun. Shalom. Yeah, they are Shalom Bell. This uh, is Hakao. Uh, so I forgot to text you. I have home, so I couldn't make it. No worries. This is chicken feet. This is barbecue ribs. Actually, shu mai. This is shu mai. Shalom bao and cha su bao. This is shrimp chong fun. It has like big shrimps in there. And tapioca. Ooh. That was not good. Let's try the beef chang fun good, but this one is the beef one. That one is the shrimp. I think chang fun. Mm. I like shrimp one better. But Brandon likes beef. So we have the noodle dish with vegetable. Beef stir fry noodle. So this one is on the menu. I have to order from the menu. It's not from the plate. Do you want a shrimp ball? No. Salt, pepper, shrimp. Chicken feet. Did you want? I want. I want to have a. Yeah. All right, chicken. Try what? You like chicken feet? I'm gonna try the salt, pepper, shrimp, and the chicken feet. Brendan's gonna try this taro thing. Yeah, taro. The dot. Is it good? Oh, okay. It's salty, right? I didn't think it was gonna be this salty. Brendan said the taro root tastes pretty normal. Let's take the salt pepper shrimp. He did not like the salt pepper shrimp. Hold on. So the salt pepper shrimp is really crunchy on the outside. The shrimp is really meaty. However, Brandon thinks it doesn't have a lot of flavor. I would have to agree. It doesn't have a lot of, have a lot of peppery flavor. There are other restaurants in San Antonio that taste a little bit better, but it's not bad. On a scale one to ten, I would say seven out of ten. All right, now let's try the chicken feet. You gotta hold that. So chicken feet is really good. 10 out of 10. Really good. Highly recommend. Definitely try the chicken feet. Let's try the spare ribs. Spare ribs has a lot of flavor. It has like nice pepper flavor. The sauce is really good. Not too salty at all. I would say 9 out of 10. Spare ribs, definitely a must try. Let's get one more spare ribs. This one so good. Highly recommend. Spare ribs. Do you want anything? No, no, no. No, we already have two more. No, there's no more. Chicken things. I bet you they're not even that good. Is it good? Okay. It's okay? Yeah, it's all flaky. It's 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 flaky.
Okay. On a scale of one to ten. I'll take two. Taste good. It's not very sweet. It's alright. If you don't like it, drink the rest of it. That's his job. Eat whatever you don't like. Yeah, definitely the not the same. I would, I would prefer the 85. Right, 85 degrees, the Portuguese will taste better. Sesame balls. Sesame balls as a dessert. Those are big sesame balls. It tastes pretty good. Alright, there we go. Huh? She got me from that. Brandon said those are super good. They're the real ones. Very good texture. Super moist. Like they're super like soft and fluffy. Oh, because they're super fluffy. Soft and fluffy. You can tell they're not frozen. Alright. What do you think of the food? It tastes fine. It tastes like New Fortune. Tastes, tastes like, the same. Tastes exactly the same? Yeah, for the most part. I think it tastes good. It's definitely one of the better dim sum places in Austin, but in New York, I think New York, Houston New York has- New York and Houston taste way better. Yeah, New York and Houston taste way better, but- well, I would say like it's worth it. It's better than driving to Houston because you know you have to drive for two two and a half more hours. But I think overall it tastes pretty good. I would give it eight out of ten. It's definitely one of the best ones in Austin. But not the best dim sum in the world of for sure. Not, yeah, not, <laughs> but new but in America, New York and Houston has better places. But this one is really good. So I do highly recommend going to here. If you live in Austin or close by, definitely worth checking it out. That's it for today's video. Thanks for the subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.